Hi Year 2, welcome to Narrative for today. It's Wednesday the 22nd of April. So today I'd like you to click on the link to watch the whole of our story again. There's a separate link on the web page that you can watch the whole story. Off you go. Okay, today I've got a bit of a quiz for you to see how much you've remembered from the story. So the first question is about this page here. Shall we read it together? How is Jim feeling in the first picture? Why? So on your sheet of paper, I'd like you to write the number one because it's the first question. And then I'd like you to write me an answer in a full sentence. So we've got number one. Oh, <laughs> number one. How is Jim feeling in the first pick? So I've written here, Jim is feeling, I think he's feeling a bit scared. Jim is feeling scared because there is a strange noise full stop so i haven't written out the question i've just written the number number one and my answer why don't you have a go now okay question two we're looking at this picture now or this part of the writing how do you think he is feeling in this picture and why so again, I'd like you to write the number of the question, number two, on your sheet of paper and have a go at answering it in a full sentence with your capital letters and full stops. Off you go. Okay, question three in our quiz. Why did Jim go to his chest of drawers? What did he want to get? Why did Jim go to his chest of drawers? He was trying to get something out of them to help him with the noise. Have a go at writing your answer. Okay, so you might want to pause here and have a bit of a break. Maybe go and do some exercise or have something to eat. And then come back because we've got another question. Here we go. Question four, this part of the writing. Where did Jim go next and why? So first... He went to his chest of drawers and then he went somewhere else. And what was he going to get? Hmm. Okay, now we're thinking about this part where he goes searching around the room. Question five. Name three places around his room that Jim searched for monsters. So where did he go to look for monsters in his room? The pictures will give you a clue. Or you could read the words. You could watch the video and listen. Off you go. And the last question is a bonus question. So you can stop here if you want to, or you can do the last question for some extra dojo points. Here we go. So it's about this part here. It says, draw a line to show where Jim found each one of these monsters. One has been done for you. So let me just show you what I mean. Okay, so here we've got some different monsters. And here we've got some different places. Shall we read them together? Hooter, Swish and Sniffer. Saggy and Squeak. Tiny and Tubby Bear. And Crinkle and Crumple. And we've got some different places around the room here. By the window. Under the armchair. In the top drawer. Or in the cupboard. And if I remember rightly, Crinkle and Crumple were found in the top drawer, though they were top drawer twins, weren't they? I'd like you to pause the video here, write down the monsters on one side of your page, like I have, and the places on the other, and then I'd like you to see if you can draw some lines to match the monsters to the places they were hiding. Have a go. Okay, if you found that one a bit tricky, don't you worry. Just take a picture of what you've done and post it to Class Dojo so I can see and I can give you some nice Class Dojo points. Well done, everybody. Let's just go through these answers together, shall we, for the last question so that you can see. So who to swish and sniffer? Where were they found? Let's go and have a look. 
Ooh, and they were found behind the curtain. Now, there's not one that says behind the curtain. Which one might be right? Oh, yeah, by the window, because that's where we have curtains in our houses, isn't it? By windows, you're right. That was a really tricky one. Saggy and Squeak, where were they? Do you remember? They were under the chair, weren't they? Under the armchair, well done. And Tiny and Tubby Bear were in the cupboard. Well done if you got those right. If not, don't you worry, just have a look, just give me a look at what you did and I'll help you. Well done everybody. See you tomorrow.